What is up, everyone? As promised, I've got some content coming to you. Now, it's not going to be the most edited stuff in the world. And for that reason, a lot of you have already probably changed the video. And for me, that's perfectly fine. For those who do remain and have the patience to sit through more than three minutes without a fucking jump cut, here is an unfiltered webinar from just a few days ago. Live trade, a lot of commentary, pretty much describing a lot of my process. So without further ado, let's watch. <laughs> okay. Anyways, wave D, right? So self-explanatory. If you need colors, right? And really, it's this whole dang area for me. Um, VWAP, right? This is our bit of support we're working with. 269. Golden number. Plus two. Um, reverse split pump. Right? It's already up so much. I mean, buck 60 for me. This is one of those high wire type moments like we were talking about where if I'm playing this support this morning, I can. I just got to be uh, nimble with it and very safe. You know, the edge is gone. Every, everyone's in their mother who's dip buying this sees this. Well, that's not true because Billy... Billy will be waiting. Where's high day? Well, definitely what there's Billy, right? Some of them are going to wait for that. Wherever high day is, some of them there will be some Billy's here too, right? Wherever high day ends up breaking. There will definitely be some just right out the gate, too. But And these billies would be better than these billies for now. Because we do at least our buy support. That's what I'm saying. If this, this to me, just says morning spike on it, probably. Right? If not, it's going to immediately break down the only pre-market support that we have. And then we'll just be watching for that kind of reversal. It's already, already under VWAP and stuff like that. All right? Mm -mm. We'll see where where the morning highs establish themselves. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I don't know. You know, I just don't know right now where where I'm gonna be. This is the obvious level. Right, if this were to hold and we just want VWAP or something like that, that's fine. This area is fine if it were to hold. The problem is, is where we're gonna, you know, the, I'm not gonna get market too much market open, in other words, before this decides what it's gonna do. It might break down support pre market even, right? But this is the idea if this is gonna hold, you know, targets would be, yeah, VWAP area especially on an early spike. And then, you know. Okay. Does that make sense to everyone? Pretty basic layout there. I'd expect kind of a morning spike on this. I'd expect a morning spike. We'll see what happens, though. There's a little breakdown of this little bit of support. It's not full breakdown. I mean, and it's just that little bit of pre-market support. So I'd expect them to hold it. They're doing the most volume, not oh, the second most volume, not oh, 6 million. Yeah, it's decent. Wave D, let's check out Wave D. That's where we are. APLM. APLM is not a reverse split pump, man. But uh, but uh, first approval of the for Met Exxon 14 skip non small cell lungs cancer. All right. 
what was that? Announces the first approval of the okay, cool. It is all right. Stupid. Um what we got going on here, guys. Yeah, that sort of thing going on. Tough. Tough, because this thing, if you guys saw when the PR came out, I didn't. I caught I saw it about here. But this thing went uh, straight up from 70 cents, man. You know, this will be pretty halty probably. Let me get my... Um, I'm going to start getting this small account cranking here soon. I haven't been trading it yet. I haven't done much trading this week. Just a couple small trades daily, making sure I'm pressing buttons. Again, edge, guys. It's tough once... Sorry. Are we live? Oh, we're fucking live. Let's go. Wave D broke down support immediately. Right? But I believe all of these people were working off of this support this morning. So I think, I believe it may have to shake out a little bit, but at this point, right? At this point, to me, yeah, I'm going to watch price action and stuff, but that this to me is where it feels more like kind of a falling knife type idea, which is fine to me too. I'd rather catch a falling knife, honestly, on something like this than buy a breakout any day of the week. But a lot, you guys, a big theme of the one-on-ones this week has been a lack of patience. Just a big time lack of patience in every aspect. Not not just with your trading in the mornings, okay? Like you get a chart up, you gotta be trading it. Look at me, guys. I don't let the shit. I let it set up and just kind of like take my time, okay? Take your time, guys. We gotta figure out where to be. We're cunning, right? We're gonna figure out where this reversal is to get good risk reward back to VWAP, which is all we need in a market like this. All we need ever when we're playing reversals, if we're playing weaker stocks in the morning, is that little pop to VWAP. You know what I mean? That can provide an excellent, excellent trade for me at times, wherever VWAP may be, okay? In this case, high a day, right? We know Billy's here too now. We know Billy's here. I also can tell you with relative certainty that we've got some of these cats right probably up in here too up in this mix right that's how that works okay i can tell you that they're also over here in this area okay and i can tell you that they're also over here in this area if i'm a short seller uh, all right in this area does that make sense guys it's not there are pre-market shorts that are in these things too and they're waiting for this full breakdown so this guy billy he's just waiting right now right here right to buy right into essentially what would be the reward for us on this reversal if it were to revert like that what the fuck god damn it i'm too busy drawing and not busy enough looking at level two and stuff here you guys see that though? Billy Billy definitely bought that shit. <laughs> if he could. It's kind of quick. That wasn't a real print though. That wasn't a real print, I don't think. The uh three print, I don't think that's real. Did y'all get a three print at home? No, okay. Some of you did probably if you were on trading view, obviously, but now we've got a double top in a high day, right? Quick reversal, man. Kind of quick, right? Look where it topped. 
at least on my chart. On my DAS, it topped out, it double topped on DAS that right here, essentially. Right? Where so I mean, yeah, high of day, VWAP, right? When we're get gap and crap reversal. This is just so quick, but which I like to see, guys. I really hope they get come back. The morning reversals. I think they will. They've been gone for a long time. Back towards lows for now. Okay. Look at Billy. Billy. No. Come on. Billy was actually waiting anyways. It didn't get all the way through yet, but that would probably be enough to get Billy up in it. Let's see what else we got going on. I'm all honed in on that. APLM morning fade for now. When I'm watching for new lows, guys, you know, on the chart especially, like, watch the weakness. Watch if it's going to bounce. Watch the next leg down. Oh my goodness. DPLG, DRMA, MGAM. We've got a lot of penny stocks on my scan this morning too. Let's change five. I gotta change my dollar volume. Let's fix it at for now. Decent setup on wave D. I still don't hate it. Low a day would have to be risk is a problem for me. And and this, and this is where risk reward is just diminished back to high a day and VWAP right now has been diminished to one to one. Okay. Which I don't mind if it feels, if it feels right. And I think we're going to be getting a highs a day and stuff, which I kind of feel like um, we'll at least get a high a day push on something like this. But. Just with, with what I see on the scan, there's not too much else this morning. It's good to see um, small cap stocks, though. It printed on my Schwab too, though. Those prints printed on my Schwab, not just on my um, trading view. It's weird. It's creeping though. Testing high day. Billy's ready. Come on, Bill. High day break. Billy's in. There's another Billy that just is waiting, but a lot of Billies are already in now. Now we're testing uh, that WAP right there. Billy's fucked. Billy's so fucked. Ugh. Don't be Billy. Stupid ass Billy, right? He's like, oh, you know what I did wrong? I didn't wait for it to break over VWAP. I didn't wait for it to break over VWAP first before I bought it. Fucking dumbass. Sorry. Love you all. Some of you bought it right there. <laughs> Again, it's this is one of those setups that's so much better on Wave D. This, for me, is one of those setups that is... That... Ah. Sorry. Ah! Chill, dog. Chill. Do you want to see true what true edge on a setup looks like? You know? Right? Look at that. Look at that aspect. Okay? Right? 
There's the ultimate edge on this setup, guys. Ultimate edge. To me, at least. When you look big picture, you're looking at the players. And I love these pictures, man. This is, I'm really able to show you guys exactly how I feel about who's where when. All right? Does that make sense? Right? These guys fuck everyone. Shorts, longs, retail, in between. The goods and the bads. Right? This is the company. This is the H.C. Wainwrights. Here's where the edge lies always. Post-split, to me, these days. Is finding the correct swing. And waking up and taking profits pre-market when it's spiking to the threes. and You know what I mean? Does that make sense, you guys? At this point in the day, we're working with and against all the a-holes, which is every day. And we're trying our best to make sure intraday, because this is this is big picture, right? We get to intraday. It's still a matter of like, can we play this? And how do we not get fucked by everyone? Or be, and how do we sell it to Billy? Okay. How do we sell it to Billy here? How do we sell it to that Billy and this Billy that's buying it over VWAP, right? And this Billy. Okay. These ones who are just going to chase. Every single one who's playing a higher low, that's a Billy to me, guys. Right? If this thing starts to higher low and do all these things where it's like, and then this Billy's using this higher low, this Billy's using this higher low. And when that's happening, I mean, you've literally got the opposite thing happening on the other side too with the lower highs. Right? So where there's all these Billies, there are all these guys and you get into this crazy ass dynamic, right? Of higher lows, higher lows, lower highs. These people are playing this. People are playing this. We got VWAP. You got all the shit, right? And then when all is said and done, man, the only person who's making 100% today would be this guy, right? Without a significant amount of turmoil emotionally, okay? Because Billy already done bought in through high day earlier into VWAP. This one, right? Does that make sense, guys? And then you'll have short sellers step in here, too, if this breaks down. Okay? At this point. Does this make sense? There will be short sellers hitting this. Right? As all of these people capitulate and their stop is set probably low a day and all of these people who are long now would capitulate. So that's, that's the case, you know, there are so many ways to look at these, but at the end of the day, you just got to be safe. And this is why I really, 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 really preach when we're buying dips, you can nail down entries, be more patient, wait for this level to test and break. You know what I mean? Early morning reversals like this, like we talked about, like I was trying to talk about, if it does, you sell it quick in a BWAP. You got to be quick. Okay. A PLM nasty for now. I'm on most reversals. I've been switching to the five minute, but this is one of those cases. This went from 80 cents to 220. Boom. Like that. These are five minute candles. So in, essentially in three, five minute candles, this went from 80 cents to the twos. And whenever that happens, the shakeout's going to be big. That being said, it's, this is kind of interesting action to me for some sort of some sort of bounce. Stocks don't go straight up. And when they do, they go more straight down, but they don't go straight down either. You know, usually. I would look at this like that pretty much, you know. Try to find that spot, but I don't know what that spot's going to be, right? I've been switching to the five minute time frame and looking for that bounce on the five. But did you guys understand what I was kind of talking about on APLM earlier about the falling knife type idea? You know, once it gets like, if we're getting through support and down through VWAP and it's super extended, that's when it just gets ah, scary to me, you know? 
That being said, I'm watching for legs down, all right? When I'm looking for a drawn-out reversal, 15, 20, 30, 45, whatever it is. I don't care what it is. Here's our first attempt at bounce, okay? Right here. Let's say here's our first attempt at bounce, okay? Um, sorry. This little one. Right? And then we've got a leg down from there. I kind of look at that like this. It did try to bounce there. Another leg down from there, and it did bounce here. Okay. A little more. 139, 143. That's a significant bounce. 10, 11, 12, 14 cent bounce there, right? That's a real first bounce. Now we've got another leg down here. Fucking crazy, guys, actually. What is this going to go? Red? Holy shit. It's still up 44%. You know, that's how much it was up, but ugly 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 so this leg down past that last bounce so far even bigger does that make sense i'm looking for a slowing of selling i'm looking for a slowing of selling right does this make sense guys please let me know so if this crack in other words you know held a buck 36 held a buck 36 instead of fucking look at this thing right if this crack held a buck 36 and started to grind up, does that make sense? Let me know everybody, please. But it's not. This leg down, look at this leg down, guys. It's the biggest, it's as big as the initial leg down, if not more, out the gate. I wouldn't even call that a real bounce. I would start, I would actually look at it kind of like that. So maybe a slight sl slowing down, but. Right? So, I, I foresee it bouncing at some point, but who cares, really? It's not one of my patterns, guys. Yeah, I could look for a reversal for sure, right? But that is pretty bad, okay? Now, if I was patient enough, there's, uh, you know, a buck. We got a buck underneath us now. We know they're trying to hold a buck. It's shaking out a fuck ton, okay? So now we're looking, to, I mean, it's got to, probably going to try to get back towards view app at some point, I'd imagine, throughout the day. Maybe not. Maybe this is one of those ones that never gets to view app again today, right? And just kind of creeps down here and creeps and then fades in late day. But. But I would forgive myself for trying it down here. It's gone all the way up and all the way down, you know, maybe they'll push it now. Oh, Billy, Billy scared. But we are also now about to potentially double bottom. Okay. Potentially. I'm watching tape here. Does this make sense, guys? Where our attention is, what we need to be doing, when and where. Right. Wolf is interested. Okay. I'm interested. Let's see what's going down, right? View up keeps dropping. Two fifties trying to hold kind of a half dollar level, you know? I, but again, I want to see it break down. I don't want to see it break down. I feel like if this one breaks down, it's probably dead. So there's two trains of thought for me on something like this, because there's still downside, right? Look, a buck 20 down there. There's like, a, I mean, where, it, where red green is. Yeah, I mean... A buck 60, right? I highly doubt it would get down to a buck 60 today with the volume it's doing and everything. And buck 60. But there's still significant downside from the 260s. Does that make sense, you guys? When you look at this chart, when we're talking about, am I on a slack line on the beach here? Right? 
Or am I on a, on a high rise? It's somewhere in between there. It's not the most dangerous in the whole world. It's only up 60%. It's not up 500%, 200%. Right? Is this area a million times better than this Billy? Who's right now, but you know what Billy's doing. He's like, please don't, please don't break down. Please don't break down, you know, because I have to cut here, right? Does that make sense? Where all the billies are like, I got to cut. We're just looking for entries. Does that make sense, everyone? And I don't mind. I got to watch level two, though. Break down. Break down further. And we've been seeing breakdowns. Hold. Here's the breakdown. 253. Hold again. I bought some. I tried. Just giving it a shot. Just giving it a little shot. Let's see if it can hold or not. Still looks heavy ish. Ish. For now. Nice. Nice hold. For now. Big bid step in 250s, but also being wiped, it looks like. Don't wipe it, didn't wipe it. 259. Bigger bid. It's like 27 G's. Crazy bitch. The principle is that this guy just shorted in my eyes, right? With the downside. And now this guy's underwater, if that makes sense. Up towards the view app. Locked in a little bit here. Just a tiny bit. Don't know how much, probably 50 bucks or something there. Back towards high day here. Locked in a little bit more just to do it. I'm down to 3,500 shares. I 
And then remember the dynamic, right? Remember the dynamic? We got shorts fucking right here, guys, right? Working off of these. This guy cut down here because he sucks. You know what I mean? Nice. Locked another few. Down to 3,000 shares now. Trying to be a little bit more patient. Locked another few. Down to half of my size. 2,500 shares. Getting towards high day now. Back in towards high day. Back towards view app. Took off another 500 shares. And I'm down to 2,000 shares. And I this trade has been de-risked. Perfect single on a little bear trap. And because of the way it trapped, I'm going to try to be a little tiny bit patient, maybe. Right? Just extend a little bit. We got a lot of resistance up here. A lot of the, you know. But this is the biggest volume candle of the day so far, if you look at it. Down to 1,500 shares for now. Right? So I've sold majority of my position. I've locked in the single. This shit could go straight to zero right now. I'll be okay in life. You know what I'm saying? No greed. Just kind of taking what the little bit of range is here on a trap. And then understand if they're trapping short, they're trapping long. You know what I mean? Right, guys? And put my damn picture back where it belongs. The point of the picture, guys, is also so I can get content, by the way. So deal with it. Oh, that is kind of big over there, actually. I'm going to move myself right here. Fucking awesome, guys. You shitting me? Fucking awesome, right? I took them all off. 865. I hope it rips through high a day. That's what I hope for. I didn't have to take it all off there, right? But that's a great single for me. It's perfect, okay? Using the range that's been given... That's all I need. Eight, six, five a day. How much is that? That's great too. You know, what did I do? A couple hundred bucks yesterday. But the lack of greed, if this doesn't work, right? Because I know the dynamic here. I think I like the setup still. I probably should have held some. It's a first split pump. Um, but that's all I need for the day, guys. Who saw the trap happening in real time this time? Who learned what a trap looked like just right fucking now, y'all? Who understands that dynamic of what I did there? Please tell me in chat if you got to watch that. Did you guys see that for the first time? Maybe some of you understand that dynamic. You guys are used to the other. You guys are Billy. You guys are Billy. This is Billy too. Billy, Billy. Same thing. Okay? All the Billies get fucked. Both ways. You know? And we just take our little bit, guys. That's it. But you notice what happened. Do you notice what happened? What did we do there? What did I do there? Did I take a position here or here? Work in the low? No. I didn't wait for that low to snap. You can all thank Sirog for that, for that little ditty that's helped me so much, honestly, for since I've spoken to him, just to let you know, I've been so much more fucking accurate, dude. So much more accurate.
just by waiting for it to break down. You know what I mean? Why did I pick Wave D over APLM? Because APLM is just dog shit. Look at this thing. It's dog shit. Right now, it's trying to balance finely. Okay. The fuck is that thing on there? Okay, that's that's the main reason. This thing was went from eighty cents to two twenty. This up here, high wire, uh, skyscraper, right? Super super dangerous. Look at the look at the extension. Now look at wave D. It's not as much just straight extension. Okay. It did gap up big, but it had a lot more pre-market action, a lot more volume, a lot more stuff to work off of, in other words. So now the question is, right? Now the question is, do these shorts step in and get squeezed? Right? And then you're going to have all these billies lining up to hit the new highs and new highs, new highs, like we were mentioning earlier. Is that going to happen? I hope so. But I'm out. So that's kind of unfortunate. I kind of wish I held a few shares just in case. The whole point of that, of what I did, of locking in the 500 there, 600, is that what's 600 to 800? Okay. Maybe to you, it's a lot. To me, the 600 to 800, I would honestly rather. I locked in the 600 to supposed to be able to keep that 1500 shares and extend that to to these billies if possible. Sell to him, sell to him, sell to him, you know? And if I can get to those levels, right? I took my single on a lot of the shares. But if I can get to the next level for me, which would be uh right around this area right here, right? Then from there I'm getting that 1 to 11. I'm getting 11 R there, you know? Highs a day VWAP, we were getting from where I was, uh, 5R, right? 11R here, we get to pre market highs. We get to pre market highs, we're talking, you know, 1 to 20 and shit, <laughs> right? Does that make sense? And this is why I say at the end of the day, for me these days, and, I, and for those of you who have struggled forever, fuck, you know, it's, there are only a few spots to buy these things, okay? So many people are getting jazzed to buy it right now, even. But the whole point of that is, again, when this doesn't work, it goes to low a day, all right? If this breaks out of VWAP and gets stuffed here into these highs and into this resistance, okay? It goes back to low a day. If it gets stuffed up here, it goes back to VWAP, at which point it could be going back to low a day. Does that make sense, everyone? So the only place where I find there to be edge in these things anymore, for the most part, is nailing an entry and then buying my patience through selling into the levels. And then being okay with the fact that I'm not going to make a kajillion dollars all the time. But I can fucking do that every day if I can, or at least try to. Does that make sense, everyone? This is a really important uh, video lesson, actually. It's really important, y'all. Okay. Nothing crazy. 865. But that is awesome, man. Right? How, many, how much is that a year? That's $225,000 a year, you guys. Fuck, right? Le and it's less than $1,000 a day. And this is what I'm saying. You guys need to be patient. All right? My one-on-ones this week have revealed several things to me. Mostly a lack of patience with the process right now. A lack of patience with the process. You think you started dip buying, you're going to make a billion dollars today. Okay? Does that make sense? You need, you need patience. Just because you started dip buying, just because we have low risk reward, doesn't mean you size the fuck up and do dumb shit. 
and take big losses at lows when you don't know when to buy and how to buy. Does that make sense? As Again, like wave D, if you're buying wave D and you don't know what the fuck you're doing and you weren't waiting for the trap and you were buying it, maybe two, six, five, right? 10 cents risk. Great. 30 cents reward a high day. Great. Right. But what if that snaps really hard and you don't stop and it snaps 30, 30 cents, you know what I mean? And you got a ton of size. You're going to take big, big losses just because we're trading near lows and because it's less dangerous than being Billy doesn't mean it's not dangerous still. Okay. Ooh, Billy. Right. This guy's getting paid. Okay. This guy makes money. This guy makes money. This guy makes money. Right. Billy's fucked again. Dude, how many times do we got to see this happen, you guys, to you, for you to trust me? You know? How many fucking times? Right? Right? So, I hope that makes sense to you guys. My risk, by the way, um, excuse me, my entry was like 258 in this region here, all right? So, it wasn't even the best entry I market ordered in. And, um... And my risk was the original low of day, basically. I was, you know, I wasn't, the second, if this can't, in other words, I bought this candle, right? If this candle started to pull, like, through this low again, significantly, I was just ready to market order out, too, and take $50 loss or so. Okay? $100 loss, maybe, for me. But two, but there are two. I I have always two trains of thought. It's either use the original level of support that they trapped at, or in or around that level. That's where I want to see hold. I don't want to see the candle start pushing that low. I want the one minute wick, the one minute trap. Okay, does that make sense? That's how fast that happens. All right, it trapped. It's back over lows. And then if it's, and then it, this is one of those things where if it didn't trap, I, I will take it off because it could still panic. But the whole idea with this right here, the whole idea is that right here, they took out all the stops from the morning. This new short step in, they took out the stops and it immediately holds. So literally they just swept the stops. Does that make sense, you guys? Okay. Any questions, y'all? Any questions? Picture perfect little trap trade. Fucking picture perfect sell. Almost. Right? Just take what the chart gives you. We're not doing anything crazy here, but you can still make money this way. Not only money this way, but much easier money this way than, than the opposite, than everything else you can do on a chart. Okay, guys? And the more you see this framed out for you over and 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 over, the more you guys are going to understand this dynamic of, all right, where am I? Where's the wolf need to be today? 
Does that make sense, you guys? Where am I going to fucking be today? It's somewhere over here, right? It's never up in here. You're doing this. You're doing what all the Billy... You're with Billy. You and Billy and all the fucking short sellers are all fuck, fucking each other up here, right? You know what I mean? There's zero edge playing around here for me, personally. This is where my edge lies and that I can find great risk reward scenarios and then use all the volume of everyone else. Okay? As if I were whom? Right? All right, guys. Let me know if that makes sense, everybody. Let's go. What do I think about Foxo? Yeah, they did split. I know off the top of my head that they're not a NASDAQ, I believe. I believe off the top of my head that they're not a NASDAQ. How does that change it? Different compliance rules. This one's another one under a buck. Dang, what happened to VLCN? Did they do an offering or something like that? I'm glad I took that shit off. Bankruptcy news or something? Earnings? They just split too. What did they do in an offering? I don't really play splits on Amexes personally. It really is a NASDAQ situation for me for the most part. God, tell me that this right here does not sum up like what we see psychologically on a daily basis, you know? They did an offering. What price did they do it at? This is not just an Arsenal jersey, bro. This is... Did you see what the fuck just happened on Wave D? Did they just trap it again? Sorry. Did you see that? Did that really just happen, y'all? It happened on all of my charts over here. It didn't happen on my Wave D, though. It didn't happen on my DAS. That's weird. It didn't snap like that on my DAS. So I'm assuming that that's not a real print either. Okay, sweet. Yep. That's why I like having multiple platforms open. And DAS usually doesn't fuck around with weird prints like the others as much. My experience. But it changes things, you know, that wick, if that were real, that, I mean. It's trying to hold 250 for now. But this is where, like, I don't really want to double dip this. I mean, this could squeeze for sure, as long as it can hold 250. But it looking like a VWAP reject fader, right? At this point. So. Especially when it broke down the pre-market support initially anyways. Right? All right, y'all. That's it for me for the morning. I have to go to my daughter's school in like 30 minutes, I guess, for daddy book day whatever something <clears throat> so that's what i'm doing um welcome to all the new wolves we're gonna we're gonna show you how to do this shit guys we're gonna get you away from being all the from you know getting all wrapped up in too much right so we'll teach you how to be wolves on the daily charts for swings. We'll teach you how, if we must trade the price action, how to do that too, right? That's the whole goal. Hopefully you guys learned something. 
You guys have watched me now the last several times we've been trading. Watch Lowe's form. Even uh, if you go to the boot camp, I think I'm pretty sure the boot camp was a really, really great example of the opposite of this, where you get to watch me watch Lowe's just like this. Okay. Watch Lowe's just like this and call a non trap, but just a breakdown of Lowe's. Okay. Uh, there are several of those, I think, recently where I've been actually letting lows break and then letting them fade, okay? Because it can become very, very apparent when the lows break and you don't have a position specifically, okay? To notice the trap and then, and then take, take action. All right, guys. Still holding too. I hope it rips. You know, in my head, I always hope it rips. Like I like to be right. I don't really care about being right, but I like I like when my trading's on point and the perspective's correct and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? I, like I love the fact that there wasn't really any greed here and I just took it all off into VWAP. I love that. You know, instead I would have if it would have ripped, of course I would have liked to have a thousand shares. I would have forgiven myself for having those thousand shares, but at the end of the day, it does make a difference. There was another couple hundred bucks there by locking into strength as opposed to locking them into the weakness, right? So, and here's the deal, y'all. Here's what's the most important to me. Because this was so on point, if I have another, and I did it yesterday too, I believe. A couple hundred bucks on something. Did we post yesterday's webinar? If not, I'll get that one up. But same sort of idea. Just take the range, take the money. Come back tomorrow, take the range, take the money because it worked yesterday. In other words, if I, if I bought here, I sold it all here and then this thing rips uh, to pre-market highs, okay? Instead of getting v re rejected down at VWAP, okay? If this would have held here and then ripped, right? Ripped and then started to squeeze, 